Marisha, I feel like you haven't said anything that's going to alienate people. So I want to ask you, uh, what happens when we die? <laughs> what happens when we die? What? What do you think happens when we die? <laughs> Holy shit. Um, okay. I'm not, not a religious person. So mm-hmm. you can get that out of the way. Sure. <laughs> Sorry. it just brings me joy uh, <laughs> because it's like oh how crazy do you want to sound um i do always try to to give credence to the fact that there is still so much shit that we don't know sure. uh, especially in science and like when you really want to start getting into the nitty-gritty of quantum physics and the multiverse theory and and all those things and cell memory that's the other thing too or or like molecule memory how like atoms can remember maybe i'm i also don't want to butch a bunch of scientific papers that are like uh, yeah (laughs) just see michio kaku like having a nosebleed right now and he doesn't know why um but i i feel like everything is a cycle right and okay when we die, we go back into that cycle. So is there a life after death? Yes, in a way, in, in a sense that, you know, we will get our atoms get thrown back into this crazy solar system and gets used again. So I, I get a little bit of respite and comfort in that whether it's consciousness again, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Trying to just harness this crazy miracle of this bundle of molecules that I am that happens to have consciousness. Like that alone just feels like it's such a crazy miracle of nature. So always try to not take that for granted because there's a lot of molecules. Most of them can't think or make dumb web videos. So I'm glad that I'm I was a like, bunch I, of molecules I, that can. 